Oi! Yo! <laughs> oh god, starting off like this, eh? Oi! Yo, all right, lad! That's all right. I'll find it. You in a ship? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling up. Rolling. Rolling of the ship got your stomach churning, has it? Hmm. Doesn't seem like sick seasickness. Now that I look at you, it'll be the ether then, I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others. Seeing we ain't too far from Velbrand now, which is chock full of etherites. Smexy, is it? Is it though? Is he is? No need to fret though. You'll soon get used to it. Ugh. Might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ship's leaping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck. Get myself a breath of fresh air. So were you just standing there watching me moan and sweat while I sleep? It's kind of creepy, man. Limsa Lamon... Limsa Lomensas. Still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, say. Eh? Twins? Any road Britain's the name, and peddling's me trade. Is this gonna be a guy that I have to voice quite a lot? Hmm, I wonder. We're all marauders here? Wait, does that mean I'm a criminal? Yeah, I never thought about that. Until now. Does that make me a criminal? Ah, uh, smell that salty sea breeze. <laughs> Bro, I freaking picked the shortest option there was to this race, and I'm still, like, head and shoulders above this guy. Now then, lad, judging by your unusual garments, I say you're one of them new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it! We're going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring a, a, a risky business. These days especially. Uh, oh man, it's been a while. Pardon me. What was it the first attracted you to it? Well, sir, I went homeless. <laughs> to gain power, to win glory, to amass a fortune. It would have been hilarious to just wait. <laughs> my, my wife took the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Parents kicked me out of the house. <laughs> I had no other place to turn, man. <laughs> Gotta be an adventure. Let's see. Gain power to win glory or to amass a fortune. Well, wait. I feel like none of these would be a Drex thing to do. You want to do it for power, glory. Definitely not for a fortune. I I'm just going to just go silent. No, it's just silent. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Must be as old Brennan's a chatterbox, but he has sure as hell ain't no busybody. I have so much struggle reading this. We all have a secret of three, don't we? Me, dozens. And I'd rather stay, I'd rather they stayed secret too, which is why I don't get sticking me nose at where we ain't welcome. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Whoa! 
Hold on, see? Ships of the starboard bow! Pirate colors! Ah, so we are not the pirates. Pirates, bloody hells. Have ye no sense? Get below! Thing runs in the opposite direction. I don't get to fight? Sad. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship flying the months in colors. Bastards either have a buttload of balls or a bugger of all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We have made it to old cannon range, and no buccaneer's bark will catch this flyly temptress once the wind's in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his head on his shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? Bro, this voice is going to kill me. Is, 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 he, is he sticking around for the entire game? Because oh boy. That, vo that voice don't fit? Uh, now you're telling me? Okay. So should I give him a pirate voice? or He sounds like he's got... I mean, he looks like he would have an old man voice, right? Uh, I feel like I want to do that Askeladd voice from... Uh, Vinland Saga. By the... By the by. By the by. By the by. Boy. Boy. By the by. What? By the by. Oh, by the by. Uh, by the by, is this your first trip to Limsa, Lamonsa? Is this slightly better in any way, or is it just like the same thing? Kind of feels like the same thing. Is this your first trip to Limsa, Lamonsa? <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, it's the same thing. Ouch. Okay, um... Oh, it's like I get, get to create my own lore. Let's see, am I going... Is this my first trip to Limsa? Or not my first trip? Hmm. Um. I kind of want to go with no. I wonder if this actually changes the game in any way. Probably not. But it's fun to think about. I'm just going to go with no. Like, nah, man, first time. That is not. That is not. <laughs> but I'll wager there have been some changes since your last visit. Allow a journey. Allow a journey to internet. Itinerant. Itinerant. To apprise you of the current state of affairs. <clears throat> Limsa Lamonsa pr prides itself on being areas yours. Your, I hate this game. <laughs> Yours is foremost naval power. It's naval, right? Or is it like naval? No, it's naval, right? It weren't too long ago, the, pla the place was ruled by pirates. Gosh damn, reverting back. Ruled by pirates. But thanks to the current admiral's civilian influence, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess. She was. You never guessed she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> Funny. Nah, man, nah. Of course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that was. if that weren't bad enough. I've heard the Sahagin are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. What? Them here are the sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fish bags. In case you didn't know. 
Ah, a long last. Land ho. Beyond Limsa Lomonsa. Lominsa. Limsa Lominsa. Limsa Lominsa. That's not easy. Try to say that five times fast. Behold Limsa Lomonsa. Damn it. Limsa Lominsa. A nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved Limelian goddess of navigation. On a windswept isle there is in the voice southwestern <laughs> corner of the realm, amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea, lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? I think I've heard his voice before. I recognize it. I almost want to say World of Warcraft, like the World of Warcraft intros, but no. Pretty sure it's slightly different, but like... Definitely other games, right? It's so familiar. And here's where we part ways, son. Ah, so you're my fake dad, eh? And just like my real dad, you're gonna go leave me, eh? <clears throat> Anyways, I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's onto the high road for me. You thought this was an ad? Like the cutscene? Here, I want. Here, 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 I want you to have this. By the way, thanks for, for saving me earlier. Sweat. Hey, you never you never did tell me your name, did you? Well here's an idea. Tell you it. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met at Alconsidera Square. What a strange fellow. He's acting all swallowed. Peril and hardship, discovery and triumph. May the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Bro, see, pink eyes. Good, 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 good choice. I'm glad I changed it from the green. Hey, you there! Oh, it wasn't as far as I thought he would be. I, I mean you! This is my district, and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Man, he friendly. 
Uh, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Limsa, Limsa, Allow one of Limsa Luminsa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. Welcome to Lizard, blah, 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 City. Stay in pair with scoundrels and brigands. The rough cut diamond of the Rodinos. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. The keyboard, please. Oh, God. Please, not the tutorial. I don't. All right. Everything looks pretty tiny on screen, but other than that, my beefcake looks big. <laughs> Anyways. No, I can't. You see pixels? I hope it's just you and not the entire stream. Cause that would sick. Now then, I'm sure you're itching to exp Now then, I'm sure you're itch itching to explore. But adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you'll like to get your throat slit in some piss-stanking alley. Just you? Okay, good. Wait, how do you know if it's just you? Hmm. How are you so sure? So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurer's Guild. It's not far, just straight ahead this street. Just straight down the street and speak with Grefar. He'll show you how to work with that big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift and totally not in the elevator. And that'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Badera. He's the proprietor of the wench. He might curse like an ill sodden sailor, but the man's got a stop spot for wide eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Wide eyes? Is that racist? <laughs> got all that? Good. Now run along, and may the navigator guide you on your journey. That's not the god I worship, though. I worship a goddess of the fire or something? I don't know. Okay, okay, I don't need handhold. Can I turn that off? Active help. How do I off? Can, can I turn it? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know if there's a way to turn off the thingamadoos. Far enough, lad. You want to adventure in Limsa Luminsa and survive the first day? Then I strongly suggest you visit the wedge and speak with Bitterin first. I can't even walk away from if I wanted to. Well, that's sad. Now that's a janky run animation, but okay. I guess it's cool. Welcome to Lim Lim Sam Lim Lim Sam. Is all these guys gonna have the same voice? You know, it's great. If you if you mind the visit the if you mind the visit the drowning wench, the crow's lips will take you there. Am I in it? Am I here? But never. It's gonna be like 20,000 cutscenes before we get to any action, huh? Greedy! Greetings to you! Greet, greet, greetings! Greetings to ye, lad! 
feel like I'm not good at varying voices. What can I buy as a voice actor if I can't do voices? <laughs> what do we be? Ah, but you ain't here with a drink, are you? You've game with the... With a mind to try your end at venturing, I reckon. God. Well, you'll find no shortage of work here in Limsa. Limsa Balls. I don't know, it kind of sounds like that, doesn't it? The name's Bedurin. Bedar Bedurin. The name's Bedurin. The most hospitable of us. Austilleries, 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 Austilleries is the ground and wench. God damn. I regret being a pirate. I don't want to be a pirate. Get over with Gilded Adventures, Gilded Adventures Guild. Here in Limsa. That's why we dug death especially for your animal and guild businesses. And why I seem to spend more time saving the mechs that old wealth like yourselves than waiting to throw until we regulars. Adventures have a knack for finding travel, you see. Not that they need any. Not that they need any parts, and it sounds them being trouble wherever you look. If you manage to steer or clear the fish bags in the caboes outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get you instead. And if you don't manage, there's always the girl in Guardian Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course. But they're planning anything. You can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. Ah, this town seems peaceful at a glance. But look again and you'll see people living in fear, or what tomorrow might bring. And you can blame them for everything that's happened. There was a l took a mighty blow during the calamity, but our homes weren't the only things that got wiped off the face of existence by the thrice the mad bastard of a dragon. The great calamity? Like it's happened. It took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to explain it in a way that makes an ounce of sense. Wait, what? For real? Well, folks, what saw and looked down south seem to agree on how the actually goes. It's all foggy, like recollections from an hard night, uh, hard night on the air. We can imagine why people might, fe might fear for the future if they can't rightly recall the past. If there's one thing we all remember, and that's a group of adventurers that laid down their lives to drag Ezra back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Ah, yeah, that's a long time away. I say we remember two things, though we ain't forgotten what they did for the rest of God's damn calamities. Fond memories lost, rotten dust, and the names. Don't even let us picture their damn faces. It's like staring at a group lion in front of a scene. All you see in your minds is a shudder or set against a blinding lair. And that's how every bug is describing it, by the way, if you ever take the hard goal. Wait, just like my dream, beginning all this? So I guess that comment kind of refers to all the flavors, huh? Nice, I like that. I like it when, like, when animals, like, have that feeling of, like, yes, there's other adventures, other plays. It's not just you, the chosen one, you know what I mean? It's this which kept the people calling these heroes the warriors a lot. I feel like I'm thinking of seven more than a pirate sounding guy. If Limsa's ever going to put this time on darkness behind it, it's going to need adventurers to help banish fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them, and that's why any aid we can give to adventurers is everywhere else can. What do you say to that? You really lend us strength? <sighs> Me, thanks to you, and, and to the navigator and all. All I knew she stood you. In my way for a reason. Ah, but listen to me, yattering. Ah, oh, you finally realized today. I don't like a sun touched fish wrap. This that time we got your mark in the book. Put your scroll right there. But you understand what the cat's saying half the time? Drex Brigad, is it? And a fine name it is. <laughs> he likes my name. Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Adventurers Guild. You there, the, uh, <clears throat> you there, the adventurer. You sailed on the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went, uh, went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place, sending a friend signals, were you? Uh-oh. I'm being accused? Now hold on just a minute there, officer. You've got the wrong bloke. This fine upstanding young gen is me dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. <laughs> oh my god. The lad. <laughs> the lad wouldn't be got dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Oh man, I feel like I should have screenshotted that or something. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, that reminded me of Spaceballs. 
Uh, you are my father's brothers, nieces, cousins, uncles, former roommates, something like that. I don't know. What does that make us? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, <laughs> freaking love that movie. Is is that right? <clears throat> you are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when we, when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, you you make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry though. I keep an eye open at all times, me and my two more often than not. Now, sir, what do you say you take it to my finest tale before you've returned to your duties, eh? Not a, not a watered down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the Faintest idea what you're talking about, officer. The wench might offer some old cheapest grog this side of the straight of the murder, 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 but that don't mean it won't give you a good and figgled and look. I swear, I can't even understand this, and I'm reading it. There's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on, so kick him off the AV boots, eh? There's so much, so much, and there's more. Mm. 